Now, let's go across uh, to our guests joining us today to understand the ground situation there in Pakistan and where it is, it is all headed. We are now being joined by Dr. Farid Malik, a columnist and PTI ideologue. He's joining us uh, live from Lahore. Thanks very much, sir, for speaking with Vion. Thank you. Sir, let me begin by asking you, you know, three more leaders of Imran Khan's party, Shah Mahmood Qureshi, Fawad Chaudhary and Asad Umar are now under arrest. Imran Khan, of course, remains in police custody. The top leadership of the PTI is now behind bars. The protests have spread to multiple cities. Where is all this headed? I think eventually it is heading towards an election. The elections are inevitable now. Yes, but you've seen these protests that are spreading to uh, multiple cities. You see, we, we got that report of the core commander's house being ransacked by PTI supporters. There's also an emergency ambulance booth that has uh, in, uh, at a hospital in Peshawar that has been torched in the last few hours. What would you tell to these PTI supporters who are going on a rampage in multiple cities? Well, we believe in, in peaceful protests and the protests should remain peaceful. Uh, the Supreme Court is hearing a petition for the release of Imran Khan today. So hopefully today or by tomorrow, Imran Khan will be released and that will release a lot of pressure uh, uh, that, uh, that has built up to this point. The point is that uh, Imran Khan is now unstoppable. And this is the last dish mm -hmm. effort by the establishment to, to somehow contain him and his popularity. But I think things have gone beyond that point now. And Imran Khan and his thought and his approach is now unstoppable. And a democratic, free, sovereign Pakistan will emerge after this crisis is over. Dr. Malik, you are saying that he is unstoppable, but PTI believes in peaceful protests. But there is violence yes, across right. the country, sir. What will you tell to these supporters? These are PTI supporters. The point, but the point is that peaceful protests are being, are being stopped by the police. This section 144 has been imposed. And this is typical of, of police in Pakistan. But surely, sir, that violence they, can't be a form they, of registering they, a protest. No, but, but then you should allow free assembly. No, free assembly is being denied. When you deny free assembly, then there is a clash. And then the youngsters clash with the law enforcement agencies. The point is that the, the law, international human rights laws, allow you the freedom of assembly. Now, that is being denied under Section 144, and that has resulted in all these clashes. Like there was, there was a call for, 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 uh, for a rally yesterday at Liberty Market, and nobody could reach it because police had cordoned it, and they arrested anybody who reached there. See, the point is that when you stop peaceful protest, then it leads to violence. Dr. Malik, Dr. Malik, with your yes. statements, I just want to understand this clearly. Are you condoning the violence or do you condemn the violence that's going on right now? Ransacking no, of, of a course. court commander's house, something that has not happened, we, no, or no, even, we, you we, know, emergency ambulance booth set, being set ablaze? The point is, when a demonstration takes place, there are all kinds of miscreants in the, in, the, in, the, in the group that come in. We condemn violence. We are a political party. We want we want peaceful demonstration, but we want to exercise our right of assembly, which is being denied currently. The section 144 and the right of assembly is being denied. When you deny the right of peaceful assembly, then clashes erupt. And this has been the trend in Pakistan ever since. In 1977, same thing happened. That they imposed section 144, they denied the right to assembly, and then the clashes erupted. So that is what the legal rights, the people have a right to demonstrate legally and peacefully. When you stop that, then it leads to violence. Sir, you are talking... Happen. Right, right. I got your point, sir. Sir, you are talking about legality. The ruling dispensation yes. would argue that it is the same legality that applies to Imran Khan. If he has been accused in the case, why can't he go through the legal route, come out acquitted if he has done nothing wrong? What's the problem in that? What the... In the Okay, let me explain it to you. In the history of Pakistan, for the first time, a person has been arrested from the premises of the Islamabad High Court, where he had gone for his bail, and he's been arrested in another case from the premises of Islamabad High Court. The entire process of his of his of his uh, 
arrest is illegal. He should not have been arrested from the premises of the Islamabad High Court. If there are charges against him, he should have been served a notice and he should have been arrested from there. But he had been arrested. The Rangers entered the Islamabad High Court without the permission of the court. He was under the jurisdiction of the court and he was arrested from the premises of the Islamabad High Court. But so sir, shouldn't, you, shouldn't your party fight this all legally instead of resorting to violence and vandalism on the streets? We are fighting illegally. I, I just told you that there is a petition filed in the Supreme Court. And Fawad Chaudhary went there to file, file the petition. When he filed the petition, when he was coming out of the Supreme Court, he was also arrested. We are doing both. The point is that the, the state, the state apparatus, the government is responsible for the enforcement of law. When the government defies law and arrests people without warrants, then there, there is a serious issue involved. And then clashes take place. Then the youth responds with force. Force begets force. That's what is happening. So force begets is force is a dangerous uh, territory. It's a dangerous road to go, go down on. But I want to ask you, sir, do you think the arrest of Imran Khan has the backing of the Pakistani army? Is this Imran mm -hmm. Khan versus the army? Well, I think it's, it's, the, it's the establishment, the corrupt politicians that they have produced, they are all ganged up against Imran Khan because he seeks a sovereign and independent Pakistan that can stand on its own feet and formulate its own policies. So this is a, a kind of a, a collision of the unscrupulous in the establishment is part of that. So one yes. final question to you. As we see this continuing violence in the country, you are saying violence begets violence, force begets force. Will you tell the supporters of the PTI to calm down, register peaceful protests yes. wherever they yes. can? Yes. Or do you think that yes. this violence is okay? No, I'm not saying it's okay. No political party will ever agree that violence is okay. Violence is not okay. But violence takes place once you deny the peaceful protest, which is currently being denied in Pakistan. This point has to be highlighted. Even the United States Secretary General has highlighted this point. Peaceful Gathering peaceful demonstration is a right in a democratic dispensation. And there should be no arrest without proper warrants. The legal process should be followed. It was not followed in case of Imran Khan. It was not followed in case of Hawad Chaudhary. It was not followed in case of Asad Umar. This such, such uh, infringement of law should stop. Because then we are heading towards lawlessness, which is not good for anybody. All right, sir. Uh, sir, before I let you go, I want to ask you, you know, there is a, this legal web of, of cases around Imran Khan. Is that now too strong for the leader to come out of? And with the senior leadership now behind bars, does PTI have a plan B? Yes, yes, there are several plans. Actually, you have to understand that, that the strength of PD, P, P, uh, PTI is from the, from the field commanders, the people who lead the demonstration in the field. And PTI, with its ideologues and with, with its ideology and with its spirited people on the street, the street commanders will continue the protest. And there is no way that this wave will stop unless elections are announced and Imran Khan is released immediately. All right, Dr. Malik, thanks very much for joining us with your perspective on this story. Thank you.